Hey, what's up everybody? Steven here, aka Wild Eye Guy 85 here to do another review. Again, I'd like to thank uh, Rob and everyone at Wild Eye for sending me a copy of the Velocipaster for you guys to get a review. There's the front. Sorry if there's a glare. And there's the back. So it says the Velocipasture, a man of the claw. As you can see, some ninjas there in the background. You'll believe a priest can turn into a dinosaur. Maybe. Entertainment Weekly. Too strange even by midnight movie standards. Sci-fi wire. Evil is about to get Tyrannosaurus wrecked. After losing his parents, a priest travels to China to find meaning in life, but instead inherits a mysterious ability that allows him to turn into a dinosaur. At first horrified by this new power, a prostitute convinces him to use it to fight crime and ninjas. So, yeah, basically what it says, um, it's pretty crazy. Um, I'll try to explain it without uh, giving too many spoilers. Uh, first, I'll go ahead and tell you the cast. Uh, it, the runtime is 75 minutes, came out in 2018. Stars um, Doug Jones as Gregory James. Uh, Doug's dad is played by, Doug... oh, okay, yeah, I'm reading it right, yeah, to read, make sure speaking English, good. Uh, Doug's dad is played by George Schweizner. Doug's mom is Janice Young. Father Stewart is Daniel Steer. Um, the Chinese villager is Claire Su, H-S-U, however you want to say that, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Uh, Hobo is played by Nick Gar Garofalo. Carol is played by Alyssa Kempiski. Kempiski? We got Frankie the Mermaid, Fernando Pacho de Castro. Uh, Frankie's Heavy is Chase Shutter. Thug played by Alec Lambert. Sam Jesse Turrets. Wee, Ch what? Wee Chang is Ji Chang Yang. <laughs> um, Alter is our. Um, Arello Voltaire. Uh, he was just in one recently that I just watched. Um, War Buddy Ali is David Sokol. So that's pretty much the cast there. Uh, this movie is pretty crazy, pretty cheesy. Um, I'll sh show a trailer at the end of this review um, as of the others, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, there's a couple of... I mean, there's a few good kills in here, dinosaur scenes. Uh, the transformation... Partially the partial trans, partially the partial transformations, um, in my opinion, are like the best effect. When he's full on dinosaur, it's it's, it's the costume's kind of cheesy, but it's fun how he's eating and tearing people apart and running through them. Uh, after losing his parents um, in a car explosion, um, which the effects is great on it. <laughs> You'll see what I mean if you watch it. There's a joke to that. Uh, I don't want to spoil it if you do watch it. Uh, he's questioning his faith, and he's told by a fellow pastor uh, that he should probably go somewhere where he thinks God can't find him, but when he does, uh, you'll return. And it's kind of funny because he's just like driving, like he's trying to find out where to go. So apparently you can drive to China. And while he's in there, uh, he's like, ah, China. And as he's going through, uh, there's this uh, woman being chased by ninjas, and she's shot by an arrow, and he tries to uh, help her, but it's too late, and he can't really understand what she's saying, but she hands him this dinosaur claw that cuts his hand, and it gives him the ability to turn into a dinosaur. And he wakes up in a dream, and he's back in town, uh, not knowing what's going on yet, and he ends up transforming uh, one night and protecting this hooker who brings him home, and he doesn't know what's going on and so she explains what's going on and he's all freaked out and she shows the, the body and trying to convince him that what he did is good and he can use his ability to uh, punish all the wrongdoers and evil in the world and at first he's conflicted about it uh, but then he decides uh, after someone confesses uh, killing his parents he decides to go and you know punish the wicked and he he's convinced that he's chosen by God. Um, there's also a group of ninjas who are after him. Um, the story behind them is pretty interesting. I won't spoil that. You'll find out uh, what their cause is when you watch it. 
So it's a uh, ninjas versus a dinosaur movie, and uh, it's a religious battle and uh, a battle within himself. Uh, there's like flashbacks with his friend and just a lot of random stuff. <laughs> it's silly. Um, the acting is decent. There's some that could be better than the others, uh, but it's just a fun watch altogether. So it's definitely something you should check out uh, if you haven't seen it yet. Um, I'll have the link below to Wild Eye where you can purchase it and a bunch of other of wild movies that you can check out. Um, I believe it's either on Amazon and Tubi also. Uh, either way, there's ways to track this movie down and I'd highly recommend it uh, if you want a good laugh and if you like ninjas and dinosaurs. Perfect combination for you. So that's it. Um, Hope you enjoyed this review. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and enjoy the trailer of Velocipasture. <laughs> Velocipista. A troubled priest. How long has it been since your last confession? Oh, it's been about two years. I do drugs, sell drugs, uh, murder people. Oh. Oh. A, ah. a beautiful girl with a dark past. Ah. you turn into a dinosaur and eat someone. What? Dinosaurs. You guys talk all the time about helping people. This might actually be the first time in your life you can. By what? Killing people? Yes! Show me I mean anything to you. Show me you got better shit to do. Show me I'm the one disfigured like a mask caress that trigger. Show me I mean That's insane, Doug. God does not want people dead. Oh, I think God wants a lot of people dead.